Okay, in this video we are going to talk about using Euler's method to approximate um, a value of a function and we are given that dy dx equals x plus 2y and y of 0 equals 3. We want to approximate y of 1 using Euler's method and five steps of equal size using a spreadsheet. Okay, so uh, using a spreadsheet isn't something that we do all that often. First I've had to um, store some things. So I want to store the derivative here as um, I'm going to store it as fp of xy, I think, because it's a multivariable function, really. Um, and also, I need to figure out, so I'm going to use five steps, and I need to go from x equals 0 to x equals 1. So I'm going to store dx is equal to um, 1 fifth, right? Total of one unit, we're going five steps, so 1 fifth. So I'm actually, even though it says to use a spreadsheet, my first thing I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to insert a calculator page and store those things. So I need to store the derivative, so I'm going to call it fp for f prime of x comma y, and then remember it's colon equals to um, store things, x plus 2y. So now that's stored and I can do fp of 1 and 2 and it plugs 1 in for x and 2 in for y. So maybe you've never used a multivariable function, but there you go. So I've got that stored and also I said I wanted to store dx or delta x, which is our change in x, is uh, 1 fifth. Okay, so I've got things stored that I need, and now it's on to the spreadsheet. So I'm going to insert a list in spreadsheets. So what I want to do is name things. So hopefully you've done some of these by hand before. I have a column for x-coordinates, I have a column for y-coordinates, and then I'm going to have a column here for uh, change, I'll call it. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the initial condition. So x is initially 0 and y is initially 3. And then um, Euler's method, what I want to do is, so it's going to be equals, I want to take uh, the x value and the y value I have, I want to plug those into the derivative and get that. And then I need to multiply that by the dx that I have. So it's going to be fp, um, which you can get through the bar key. So I have fp. So you can see it, it's created um, lists here for me. So xc, yc, and change are now stored as lists or arrays depending on how you look at it. So I want fp of, so I need to give it xc. So right now I want it to be a1. So that's the value in, in this column and this row. So a1 comma b1. And then I'm going to multiply that by dx which again, you can get from uh, the var key. So I'm gonna press enter, and it gives me six fifths. So I actually don't think I need this parenthesis here, the uh, apostrophe, it like put it in, um, but it works just as well without it. They put that in because uh, I chose it from the var key rather than typing it. It didn't impact it, you see. Um, so now what I need to do is I need to figure out how to fill in these. So the x is going to increment by dx. So this I'm going to say is equal to, so if you want a spreadsheet to do calculations, you have to say equals and then type what you want. So this should be equal to a1, the previous x value, plus dx. And if I hit enter, so now that's one fifth, which is good. And the new y value is going to be the old y value. So equals, the old y value is what's sitting in b1 right now. And then I want to add to that the change. So that's what's sitting in C1. So that's my new Y value. And then I need to calculate a new change. But here's where the spreadsheet comes in. So I have already got a formula down here for what to do. What I want to do is I want to drag the formula down so that it'll work in this box as well. So what you're going to do on uh, the handheld is you're going to highlight the box. You're going to hit Control and then click. And then you can just drag down. And it should, when you let go, it'll fill in. You might have to press enter to make that happen, um, but it's, you highlight it, control click. I wonder if I can do that, control click. Yeah, it's not working for me. Wait, it is working for me. And then I can just arrow down, and when I release it, it tries to fill in. It doesn't have anything to fill in here because there's nothing in A3 and B3. Um, but it filled in the formula. So what I now want to do, since I have my formulas all in this row, is I'm going to hold shift and then arrow across and then control click. And then I want to drag down. So I'm just, I'm using the down arrow. 
So this would be x total would be two fists, three fists, four fists, five fists, which is one. And I'm gonna let go. And it's giving me this, which is kind of gross. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, well, actually, I would want this value, right? This is the y value, my approximation. Um, but that's not a very, well, it's not a decimal. So I'm gonna change it into a decimal by adding over here um, equals, and then I'm gonna just type A-P-P-R-O-X for approximate, and then I wanna approximate cell B6, like that, which is like way more work than I really needed to do, because what I could have done instead is I could have gone up here and just put a decimal anywhere. So I'm gonna say this is a three period. And then suddenly, everything is a decimal, um, which might be better. So that's what we can do. So this is the value of um, y of 1, given that y of 0 is 3, and dy dx is x plus 2y, using Euler's method, um, and a spreadsheet. So there might be a lot of stuff in here that you've never really done before, so you might need to watch this again. But I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.